Shalom, Israel. Most High Christ bless. I'm Captain Gad, IUIC Denver to my left. Officer Dunn. To my right. Officer Nahasa. You are tuned in to Denver in the classroom. Today's class is called The Dead Will Rise to Die Again. All right. Let's start off with Baruch chapter 2. We're going to get right into it. The dead will rise to die again. Baruch chapter 2 and verse 1. The book of Baruch chapter 2 and verse 1. Therefore, the Lord hath made good his word, mm -hmm. which he pronounced against us and against our judges that judged Israel. Go ahead. And against our kings and against our princes and against the men of Israel and Judah. Go ahead. To bring upon us great plagues. To bring upon us great plagues. What are those plagues we read in Deuteronomy 28? Those great plagues was brought upon our judges that judged Israel, our kings and our princes. Go ahead. Such as never happened under the whole heaven. So these curses, these uh, uh, plagues that was put upon the nation of Israel was not put upon any other nation on the face of the planet. So you got to ask yourself, if you fit these plagues, if you fit these curses that we about to go over, you, my friend, are an Israelite. Go ahead. As it came to pass in Jerusalem, mm -hmm. according to the things that were written in the law of Moses. In where? In the law of Moses. In the law of Moses. Read on. That a man should eat the flesh of his own son. You read that in the law of Moses. Go ahead. And the flesh of his own daughter. You read that in the law of Moses. These are curses that we will eat our own kids. Go ahead. Moreover, he had delivered them to be in subjection to all the kingdom. Read that again. Moreover, he had delivered them to be in subjection. Subjection. Come on. To all the kingdoms that are round about us. Subjection means servitude, slavery, captivity, uh, under submission, under control of. The Bible said that the Israelites will be made in subjection to all the kingdoms on the face of the planet. Go ahead. To be as a reproach and desolation. Among all the people round about. Go ahead. Where the Lord had scattered them. Where the what? Where the Lord had scattered them. Read. Thus, we were cast down and not exalted. We were cast down. Cast down and not exalted. Go ahead. Because we have sinned. Because we what? Because we have sinned. Because we have sinned. Go ahead. Against the Lord our God mm -hmm. and have not been obedient unto his voice. Go ahead. To the Lord our God appertaineth righteousness, mm -hmm. but upon us and to our fathers open shame as appeareth this day. So the Bible says that we are put to open shame unto this day. Verse 7. Verse 7. For all these plagues are come upon us. All these what? All these plagues are come upon us. Go ahead. Which the Lord had pronounced against us. Yet. Have we not prayed before the Lord? And we have not prayed. Go ahead. That we might turn everyone from the imaginations of his wicked heart. So read verse 7 again. Verse 7. For all these plagues are come upon us. All these plagues. All these plagues are come upon us. All these curses. All of these atrocities are come upon the nation of Israel. Remember the title is the dead will rise. To die again. The dead is talking about the Israelites. Captivity, you are dead. Slavery, you are dead. Not keeping the commandments of God, you are dead. Get Isaiah 59. Get Isaiah 59 real quick. Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 9. The book of Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 9. Go ahead. Therefore... Is judgment far from us? Mm -hmm. Neither does judge justice overtake us. We don't have no justice. Go ahead. We wait for light, uh -huh. but behold obscurity. Go ahead. For brightness, but we walk in darkness. We walk in darkness. Read. We grope for the wall like the blind, uh -huh. and we grope as if we had no eyes. We walking around America groping like we got no eyes. Go ahead. We stumble at noonday mm -hmm. as in the night. We don't know who we are. We don't know who our God is. Read on. We are in desolate places as dead men. As what? As dead men. As what? As dead men. The dead will rise to die again. As dead men. Give me Deuteronomy 28. 
as dead men. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Go ahead. But it shall come to pass. Meaning it will happen. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Go ahead. To observe, to do all his commandments. Read on. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, mm -hmm. that all these curses. All these plagues. Go ahead. Shall come upon thee. Uh -huh. And overtake thee. All these plagues, all these curses will come upon the nation of Israel and overtake them. Verse 16. Verse 16. Mm -hmm. Curse shall thou be in the city. Hey, can we get that real quick? Get the, get the uh, what is that, an article or video? Get the article. Let's read how we was cursed in the city. The History Channel, Jim Crow Laws. Mm -hmm. Jim Crow Laws were a collection of state and local statutes that legalized racial segregation. I want you to understand, state and local statutes. That means they, uh, they knew what they were doing. They made it legal for black people to be still treated like slaves even after the so-called abolishment of slavery. Go ahead. Named after a black minstrel show character, the laws which existed for about 100 years. Go ahead. From the post-Civil War era until 1968. So you're telling me Negroes was in slavery for 350 years, got out of slavery, and then still, uh, uh, what's the I'm looking for? Still uh, uh, participated in, st still was oppressed. Right. Subjected to the Jim Crow laws for 100 years. 100 more years. 100 more years after that. Hey, Good. 1968 ain't, ain't long. That ain't long ago, man. See, I'm just 10 years older than that. Yeah, dang, bro. <laughs> All praises. You older with Goldie. Right. See, you missed my, about 10 That means my mama and my grandma, they went through the There Jim you Crow. go. That's exactly what it means. Right. They was in the cotton field. Mm -hmm. So that, that people like, that was a long time ago. Nah. That was, that's not that long ago. That was one generation ago, right? Right. <laughs> my, my grandma, great grandma, was slaves. Go ahead. We're meant to marginalize African Americans by denying them the right to vote, uh -huh. hold jobs, get an education or other opportunities. Those who attempted to defy Jim Crow laws often face arrests, fines, jail sentences, violence, and death. Watch this. Keep going. Black codes. The roots of Jim Crow laws began as early as 1865, mm. immediately following the ratification of the 13th Amendment, which abolished slavery in the United States. Black codes was strict local and state laws that detailed when, where, and how formerly enslaved people could work or for how much compensation. That's still slavery, man. They still dictating how much you could work, what you could work, what you could do. That's still slavery. How much you can make. Right. And that still exists right now. That right. still exists yeah. right now. Especially they got a pay scale yep. for different jobs. Yep. That they 13th got, you amendment. only work eight hours a right. day or whatever. And that 13th Amendment makes you a slave again. And then once you get out, they tell you where you can work. Mm -hmm. they like, here's a job list of places you can work now that you're a felon. And then you got a cap of how much you can do, mm. how much you can make on those jobs. Yeah, man. It's still slavery, man. <laughs> Cursed in the city. Keep going. The codes appeared throughout the South as a legal way to put black citizens into indentured servitude. Servitude, captivity, slavery. No matter if they put indentured in front of or not, it's still slavery. Go ahead. To take voting rights away. Uh huh. To control where they live. They still do that today. Red line. Mm. They control where you live. Well, what uh, white people say when, when you show up, there goes the neighborhood. Time to go. The value goes down when black people show up. Go ahead. And how they traveled and to seize children for labor purposes. Seize children. Go down. Keep reading. The legal system was stacked against black citizens. It still is. With former Confederate soldiers working as police. Police. And judges. Judges. Making it difficult for African Americans to win court cases. So you're telling me these same racist Bigots, pig, 
Slop. I want to say some more words. The devil. The devil. The dang old devil. Right. Are your polices, your judges, your doctors, your lawyers, your teachers. These people are making our lives a living hell, and we thinking that it's just normal. Your defense attorneys. Right, your defense attorneys. The people that's going to be fighting for yeah. this, they, they, they say people that's against Yeah, public the defenders. Defense. Yeah. Lock his ass up. Get him to accept the plea deal, right. even though he didn't do it. Go ahead. Keep reading. Making it difficult for African Americans to win court cases and ensuring they were subject to black codes. These codes worked in conjunction with labor camps for the incarcerated, where prisoners were treated as enslaved people. Go ahead. Black offenders typically received longer sentences than their white equals. And because of the grueling work, often did not live out their entire sentence. So they was dying in prison. Man, they was worked to death. Worked to death, literally worked to death. And they keep on putting like it's past tense, like this is not still going it's on. It's still going on right now. It's crazy. Still going on. Go ahead. Keep reading. Ku Klux Klan. Uh-oh. During the Reconstruction era, local governments, as well as the National Democratic Party and President Andrew Johnson, thwarted efforts to help black Americans move forward. Go ahead. Violence was on the rise, making danger a regular aspect of African American life. Black schools were vandalized and destroyed, and bands of violent white people attacked. Violent white people! White. White. You know what's crazy, man? Black people don't do this stuff. The black, I'm tell you, it could have, America could have been black owned and black people would have never created a group to go lynch white people. Never. never. Okay, like you don't give a damn about but, but, bro, you, 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 you made a good living for yourself? Good, good job. Stay in your lane. Do you? Just don't come in my yard. We would have... <laughs> We would have never created laws to make sure that the white man don't get ahead. Right. We wouldn't have did that. It's not in us. That's why to this day what we do, forgive them. Right. Forgive them. No matter what they do to us, we still want to be with them. I don't understand, man, especially when I see black women with white dudes. Oh. I think that's worse than a black man with a white woman. Honestly. That's just me. Right, right. That's just me. Y'all talk to me. That's hey, just I me. Feel you, I, I think that's worse me too. to see a black woman with a white man. Right. I think that's just oh god. Right. Especially like Venus Williams. Especially knowing that dude all out of shape spirit. and crap. Like come right. On. <laughs> that, that once that you know get into him, it's it's there. It's, weird. Ah. it's weird, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Go ahead. Ah. Black schools were vandalized and destroyed, and bands of violent white people mm. attacked. Tortured, tortured, and lynched black citizens in the night. That's cursed in the city, man. That's cursed in the city. Violent white people tortured, lynched black citizens in the night. Still mm-hmm. doing it, but now they're doing it secretly. Right, right. So not they're the real secretly. terrorists. Yeah, they the terrorists. Terrorist groups. They are to the terrorists. Us. Right. Yep. Go ahead. Families were attacked and forced off their land all across the south. Damn, don't that sound like what's going on in uh? In uh, pal- in uh, Palestine, right? That sound like mm, mm-hmm. make you say, mm. "Go ahead." The most ruthless organization of the Jim Crow era, the Ku Klux Klan. Ku Klux Klan was born in 1865 in Pulaski, Tennessee, Go ahead. as a private club for Confederate veterans. Go ahead. The KKK. The KKK grew into a secret society. Terrorizing. What it was doing? Terrorizing. Terrorizing. Black communities. Go ahead. And seeping through white Southern culture mm-hmm. with members at the highest levels of government. Stop. Damn. Stop. Highest level means president. Right. Sorry. <laughs> Governors. People that sit at the seat of decision makings of the country. The, the Congressmen. Congressmen. Yeah. Politicians. Right. The highest levels of government. The left and the right way. Mm. Chief of police. Go ahead. Right. Judges. Everything. Go ahead. Right. And in the lowest echelons of criminal back alleys. And in the lowest. Go ahead. Jim, Jim Crow laws expand 
At the start of the 1880s, big cities in the South were not wholly beholden to Jim Crow laws, and black Americans found more freedom in them. This led to substantial black populations moving to the cities, and as the decade pr progressed, white city dwellers demanded more laws to limit opportunities for African Americans. <laughs> so they still wanted work. They say, hey, man, these, these niggas coming over here now. We need more laws to stop them from getting ahead. Go ahead. Jim Crow laws soon spread around the country with even more force than previously. Mm -hmm. Public parks were forbidden for African Americans to enter, and theaters mm -hmm. and restaurants were segregated. Go ahead. Segregated waiting rooms and bus and train stations were required, as well as water fountains, restrooms, building entrances, elevators, cemeteries, mm. even amusement park cashier windows. Go down. Keep going. Laws forbade. Laws forbade African Americans from living in white neighborhoods. Segregation was enforced for public pools. This is, remember, remember the scripture said we're going to be cursed where? In the city. In the city. Man. Every aspect of life inside the city was segregated. Go ahead. Hmm. For public pools, phone booths. Phone booth. God damn, we can't, can't, you, can't even go inside a phone booth. got to go to the black only phone booth. Go ahead. Hospitals. Hospitals. Asylums. Asylums. Jails. Damn, can't even go to the same jail. Man, we do. both committed the same crime, but we still segregated Damn. in our judgment. Damn. Go ahead. And residential homes for the elderly and handicapped. Even the old folks' home was segregated. Go ahead. Damn. Some states required separate textbooks for black and white students. New Orleans. Mandated the segregation of prostitutes. Of what? Dang. Of prostitutes. Go ahead. According to race. Damn. Damn you can't even even see the, the prostitution <laughs> was segregated. <laughs> oh, they like, you're not going to be buying our white women. Nah, <laughs> white women, you only can sell yourself to white men now. Right. You niggas, you sell yourselves to each other. Right. That's, that's the curse. To, I'm telling you, every aspect of our life in the city was cursed. Go ahead. In Atlanta, African Americans in, this? in court were given a different Bible. A different what? what? A different Bible. Go ahead. From white people to swear on. You Dang. can't even put your white, your black gorilla hands Dang. on, the, on same the same Bible as the white man did. Dang. Your black gorilla uh, 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 snu uh, nubs. Damn. <laughs> you could have put them on that white Bible. Dang. Go ahead. Hold on, hold on. Hold on Come hold on, on, man. Stand up, spirit. Right there. Come on. What y'all got going on? Marriage and cohabit excuse me. Marriage cohabitation. and cohabitation between white and black people was strictly forbidding in most southern states. Which it should be. Go ahead. It was not uncommon to see signs posted at town and city limits. At what? At town and city and limits. What? At town and city limits. And city, city. limits. Cursed in the city. Cursed in the city. Go ahead. Warning African Americans that they were not welcome there. You see Dang. that? That's cursed in the city. Cursed every aspect of our lives was cursed. Go ahead. Keep going. It's, it's Mona. Man. That's the same thing. Yeah, just I be. Ida yeah. B. Wells. Go ahead. As oppressive as the Jim Crow era was, it was also a time when many African Americans around the country stepped forward into leadership roles to vigorously oppose the law. All right, go down. Go down. That might be it. Just go down. Uh, go down. Show. Uh, 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 go down. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Jim Crow laws in the 20th century. Hold up. Go up. Slow down, bro. Uh, yeah, read that. Jim Crow laws in the 20th century. As the 20th century progressed, Jim Crow laws flourish within an oppressive society marked by violence. Mm -hmm. Following World War I, the NAACP noted that lynchings had become so prevalent that it sent investigator Walter White to the South. White had lighter skin and could infiltrate white hate groups. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, read that. Jim Crow in the North. Jim Crow in the North. Because Negroes in the North, they, they uh, was... Uh was a uh, uh, immune right to the uh, to the slavery right to the oppressive laws of the South. Go ahead, Jim Crow in the North.
The North was not immune to Jim Crow-like laws. Some states required black people to own property before they could vote. Schools and neighborhoods were segregated, and businesses displayed whites-only signs. In Ohio, segregationist Ali, Alan Granberry Thurman ran for governor in 1867, promising to bar black citizens from voting. After he narrowly lost that political race, Thurman was appointed to the U.S. Senate, where he fought to dissolve Reconstruction-era reforms benefiting African Americans. All right, that's it. That's it. Go back to the scripture. That's, I'm saying that's crazy because uh, even though everything was segregated, like the the housing and things like that, they still own they still owned everything. Right. So now they got smarter. Like, you know what? We own it. Seg segregation still exists, but we'll let y'all socialize amongst each other. Mm -hmm. They yeah. clever. <laughs> yep. Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 16. Go ahead. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. So we just went over cursed in the city. We couldn't even step in the same phone booth. We couldn't go to the same hospitals. We couldn't live or uh, die in the same damn cemetery. We couldn't swear on the same Bible. Nothing. Right. We couldn't put our, our cotton picking hands on their Bible. Damn. Nothing. Go ahead. And, and we had to worry about the Ku Klux Klan. Go ahead. And cursed shalt thou be in the field. So let's get the field. Cursed shalt thou be in the field. Bring it out. Yeah, seeing this, even when I was growing, this is not too far from, you know, from when I was growing up. Even when I was growing up, I see them picking cotton, but we was actually chopping cotton during my lifetime when I was a teenager. Mm. So just like they pick pick cotton, we had a, a, a large variety of, of, of our people Chopping cotton, and it was for, for $20 a day. $20 a day for eight hours out in the hot cotton field chopping cotton. Mm. I actually went twice in my life. Damn. You Israel, bro. <laughs> right. hey, yes, you sir. are Israel. Yeah. Hey, you're from Mississippi. Hey, they still got a lot of slave light jobs down there. Yep. You got people that's in a potato field today making $10 an hour. Sugar cane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Orange field. Right. See, right now, they, they, they putting uh, Nordic Kingdom out there. Right. You know, it's still slavery. Still right. slavery. You ready? Go ahead. From sunrise to sundown, the slaves toiled in the fields beneath the scorching southern sun. As soon as it was light, they were out in the fields plowing, hoeing, or harvesting cotton, depending on the time of year. They weren't allowed to stop until noon when they were permitted a short 10 to 15 stop. minute. Don't that sound familiar? Don't they say, uh, when, when is break time? Uh, noon. 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 This is the break. The this is the break. Yeah. It's the break time. Damn. And they give you 10 to 15 minutes. Don't they give you 15 minute breaks at yeah. work? You're going to take your break. 15 minutes. By the time you walk to the locker room, yeah. it's time to go back. Right. Just how you just sit there. If I'm on break, yep, just sit there on the floor. That's all time you got to do. Right. Just sit there. Say, now what you doing? I'm on my 15. I'm on my 15. <laughs> you should have taken it to the break room. Just don't. Why? By the time I walk there, 15 right. up. Right, for real. Go ahead. Break. Then it was immediately back to their hard labor. And if a slave's master caught them slacking, they would whip them as punishment. They worked all day until it was too dark to see and didn't dare stop even for dinner until the overseer said that their day's work was done. But even at dark, their work wasn't over. The slaves still had chores like chopping wood and feeding animals. Stop! So let's say from the time the sun came up to well after it was down, you was working. And even after picking cotton, you still had chores. You still had plantation chores. Chop wood, feed the, the, the donkeys, feed the, the, uh, the horses. This is crazy, man. This is cursing the field. Go ahead. They worked by candlelight, and when at last they were done, they fell into bed exhausted for a short sleep before rising and beginning it all again the next day. There was no escape from the never-ending cycle of labor. Six days a week, slaves Stop. were forced. I want y'all to understand what he just said. He said that there was not escape from the forever, what is it? The never-ending 
uh, cycle. What is that? Run it back. Run it back. Play it again. For rising and beginning it all again the next day. There was no escape from the never-ending cycle of labor. Stop. The never-ending cycle of labor. Don't that sound like life today? Right. The never-ending cycle of labor. Man. You work to work. To work some more. You work to work to go back to work to, to, to continue work. to right. work. Yeah. Never enough. It's never enough. Yeah. No matter what you do. Always the bills never work. stop. The bills never stop. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you, bro. Run it back. It wasn't over. The slaves still had chores like chopping wood and feeding animals. They worked by candlelight. And when at last they were done, they fell into bed exhausted for a short sleep before rising and beginning it all again the next day. There was no escape from the never-ending cycle of labor. Six days a week, slaves were forced to toil with only the mercy of Sunday off for rest. Stop. Damn. That's how they made us believe the Sabbath day was Sunday. It's the only time Master gave us to, to rest. Right. Because we was looking forward to that Sunday because during them six days, it was hell. Right. It was a never-ending cycle of labor. And that's today. Today is a never-ending cycle of labor. We, you know what's crazy? We, we get paid, right? We get paid. Before we see that check, slave master get his cut. Right, right. And then he give you just enough to pay your other slave master. Right. For your house. Yep. Then you got to pay the other slave master for your electricity. Electricity, yep. Then you got to pay your other slave masters for your food, for your water. So I'm telling you, Esau's a gangster, man. Right. Esau's a gangster. And then at the end of the year, you know what you got to do? You got to file the tax. You got to file the tax. So your major, your, the big, the big, big, big eyes determine if you paid them enough. He said, hold up, nigga. Wait a minute. Uh, you owe me. You... you Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. You Now you got to pay me back taxes. You owe me. Nigga, I ain't never seen you damn in my life. Yeah, mm. but you owe me. That's sharecropping. Still sharecropping. That's sharecropping. It's still Jim Crow. It's still Jim Crow, bro. Right. It's still slavery. Still captivity. It's captivity by another name. It's captivity, man. Right. They make sure you pay them more than oh, enough taxes. They make sure. Right. And they decide at the end of the year, okay. We'll give him a look. He paid us. He overpaid us. <laughs> we'll give you a little bit we'll back. We'll give you a little Maybe. bit back. But you're going to give it right back because right. you're going to take that money and what you going to do with it? You're going to spend it. Right. right. So it's like they win-win, and it's crazy. It's a win-win. Because -win. everything you pay got taxes on it. Mm -hmm. So why in the world I got paid more taxes on it? Everything I bought got taxes on it. Bro, you got taxes on it. Right. <laughs> you work. You got you getting taxed. You getting taxed. No matter what you do, you getting taxed for everything in his life. Man. Esau want his money. He said, You're gonna give me my money, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We abolish slavery. Hoo -hoo. We abolish slavery. But guess what? You gotta work. And I'm Man. gonna make a system where you gotta pay me off front. And if you and watch this. And if you work too many hours, I'm gonna take more money. Man, that's for real. crazy. For real. Season both gotta get right. If you work too much, right. you didn't ask me you could work that much, nigga. For real. You think, oh, 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 you you trying to you trying to get rich. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna take a little bit more because right. you work too much. For real. You got double time, I need double time. Right. Damn, that's crazy, cause that shows you we are slaves to the we to slaves, the nations. Bro. We slaves. Because man. That money goes to, they go, okay, we're going to give a billion dollars to this country. To Israel. To Israel. We're going to give it. To Ukraine. To Ukraine. That's to taxpayers' dollars, man. That's our money. Right. right. It tells you we slaves to them. And they, they ain't work for a dime for that. Right. They ain't did nothing for it. everything you work for, you pay for they war. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, where your army that you, you pay right. for? And we still begging for reparations. Right. right. Yeah, for, yeah. They get right, the tax for free. A stimulus check. Yeah, we're begging right. for stimulus check. What the <laughs> hell is this? So God said we're gonna be cursed. Is that it? Go ahead. No one was spared, whether young or old, strong or disabled. 
Strong slaves were put to work in the field while the elderly and disabled were subjected to grueling tasks, such as spinning cotton, weaving cloth, and making clothes for hours on end. However, slaves resisted their mistreatment. They worked at a slower pace, disabled machinery, pretended to be sick, and destroyed crops. Stop. That's what we got to do today. Hold on, hold on, listen, hold up. Hold up, now. Wait a minute. Y'all know we know for pretending to be sick to get out of work. Yeah, that's right. right. We, I'm telling you, that's us. Oh, man. We are back again. For real. We like, damn, we still in slavery? Yes. How many sick hours I got left? Right. You ain't even sick. For real. <laughs> Yeah, they give you hours and call it sick. Uh, right, like, yeah, hold yeah. on, bro. Wait a minute, bro. I'm gonna get, I got I got eight hours. If I use eight today, next week there's a feast day. Now let me see. What, what do I want to do? I want to spend it now, or do I want to wait for next week to keep the feast? It, you know what? Damn, I'm just calling. I'm just gonna call in sick both days. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. It is what it is. Are you, are you gonna call and be like, hey, uh, uh, my my car not working. I ain't got no money for gas. Right. Right, right, right. right. My, 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 my great granddaddy died yesterday. Dang. Like, man, that nigga, right. that nigga would have been dead 10 years ago. Right. Yeah, he died yesterday. Hey, go back. Go back. Hey, because watch this. The same way our forefathers w was uh, 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 using to get out of uh, cotton picking, right. we do that same thing today. For real. Run it back. 10 seconds, yeah. On in. However, slaves resisted their mistreatment. They worked at a slower pace. Stop. Hey. Who in here work at a slow pace at work? That right. Right man. here. I do. <laughs> you be like, hey, I'm going to be here tomorrow. Man. You work at a slow pace. You do that job slow as hell. For real. Right. You say, hey, bro, right, I get paid by the hour, bro. For real. I get paid by the hour, not the shower. Man, hey, bro, Cal, I follow the slowest car. Yeah. If, if, if you I, make sure you in traffic, I am in traffic. <laughs> yes, if I can't find a slow car, I'm the slow car. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get behind the bus. Oh. I'll wait on the empty and get back the field back up. If it's stopping long, I'm stopping long with it. Hey, for real, <laughs> for real. Hey, play on. Watch this. Old machinery stop. pretended to be stop. It said that it said that we would disable machinery. That right. I don't know what happened. It Man. just stopped working. I don't know what's wrong with this car. Man. It's missing. There's something wrong with it. It, it won't start. I think I got to take it to can't the shop. Can't come to work. Right. The engine just disappeared. <laughs> I, came, I came out the, out the house and the engine was gone. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All my ties, though, yeah. is gone. Hey, I, I, I got to fix my, this my, thing. My, uh, my, my uh, road is on bricks right now. <laughs> Transmission gone. Hey, what's Steering crazy? wheel missing. A like, lot, damn. A lot of us had to make these excuses just to do tabernacles last yeah, week. Yeah. Go ahead. Watch this. It get better. It said that we would pretend to be sick. I was sick today, boss. I was not feeling well. <laughs> I think I got the walking pneumonia. I think I got the walk. He said walking pneumonia. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the old folks thing. Yeah. Right yeah. the it's the walking pneumonia. Walking, walking pneumonia, boss. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> I just got the plague, boss. Don't, don't, don't kill me. Just give me times for sleeps. <laughs> Play it. Doctors and overseers, and many stole livestock, food, or valuables. Some learned to read and write, despite it being forbidden by law. Others burned forests and buildings, or killed their masters using weapons or poison. Some slaves even committed suicide, or mutilated themselves to reduce their value as property. Through subtle and overt actions, enslaved African Americans found ways to undermine the oppressive system in which they lived. A former slave, Solomon Northrup, wrote about his first-hand experience in his book, Twelve Years a Slave. Quote, the day's work over in the field, the baskets are toted or carried to the gin house where cotton is weighed. No matter how fatigued and weary he may be, no matter how much he longs for sleep and rest, a slave never approaches the gin house with his basket of cotton, but with fear. Damn. If it falls short in weight, if he has not performed the full task appointed him, 
he knows that he must suffer, and if he has exceeded it by 10 or 20 pounds, in all probability, his master will measure the next day's task accordingly. So stop. So that means you didn't want to do too much, but you didn't want to underperform. Because if you underperform, you got beat. But if you overperform, that means the next day you'll be measured by that overperformance. Don't that sound like Esau's job? For real. They're like, damn, if I do too much, then they're going to be expecting me to do this every day. Every day. And then they're going to kill me. Right. So you know what? We're just going to do the bare minimum. And then when you do the bare minimum, they treat you like a nigga. Right. You don't get raises. Right. You don't get opportunities. But then when you do overperforming, you still don't get those opportunities. I'm going to say you still don't get So it's like, damn, it. if you do, damn, if you don't. Right. Hey, go to uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 49. So we just went over cursing the city, cursing the field, right? Remember, it says these curses will be put upon the nation of Israel and no other race of people. Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 49. Go ahead. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from mm -hmm. far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth. The eagle is who today? The white man. The representation of the eagle is America. Go ahead. A nation whose tongue Thou shalt not understand. Because our forefathers didn't understand the white man's tongue. The Native Americans didn't understand the white man's tongue. The so-called Hispanics didn't understand the white man's tongue. Right. Go ahead. A nation of fierce countenance. Go ahead. Which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. Get that. Uh, get the video. Start at 5 minutes and 40 seconds. Same video. Sometimes the overseer would be benevolent. Other times incredibly cruel. Slaves worked under the scourge of his whip. You're going to go to they didn't pick the required amount of cotton or were caught lagging during the day, they were whipped. Constant fear was their daily reality. The flogging was incredibly painful and would tear through the slaves' skin, leaving deep gashes crisscrossing across their backs. Slaves could also be punished for not working hard enough, resisting slavery, which many did, stealing, using their native language, murder, talking too much, or trying to run away. Flogging was not the only method of punishment. Some slaves were put in shackles. Others were hung up and left to die. Some were mutilated, having ears slashed off or their eyes gouged out. Others were branded with hot irons. A system of laws called the Slave Codes controlled slaves' lives and what the master could do and couldn't do to them. Slaves had no rights whatsoever, and the masters could do with them pretty much whatever they liked. Masters sought to have total control over the slaves, and demanded total submission from them. In 1831, a black preacher named Nate Turner led the only sustained slave revolt in American history. Over a period of two days, 60 whites, including men, women, and children, were killed by blacks. The insurgents were crushed by the state militia and were captured, tried, and killed, and many innocent slaves were interrogated and also killed. Some of them were tortured by having their feet held in a fire. One slave almost had his foot burned off before his interrogator found he was innocent. Turner managed to evade capture for two months, but was eventually captured, tried, and hanged. Nate Turner's revolt caused a fear of slaves among the whites and set in motion a new set of legislations that further suppressed black religion, limited the rights of free blacks, and further prohibited the movement, education, and assembly of slaves. Uncomfortable living quarters, tiny huts, or sheds made of rough logs or boards, with no floors but the bare dirt, few windows, and no furniture. Often two families shared one hut, but there was no sense of refinement or decency whatever. Some huts had a partition in them to create rooms, while others did not. Men and women often slept together in the same room, curled up on the floor. Their beds were a plank of wood, or collections of old rags and straw thrown down in the corners. They only had one coarse blanket to keep them warm. Stop. One coarse blanket to keep the family warm. Y'all, hey, y'all know how it was at Tabernacles, man. You talking nothing. about cold, right? You now imagine it's seven of us with one blanket, man. I can't imagine that. 
Somebody gonna have to be like, hey man, y'all go ahead and I, I'll just be cold tonight. Somebody gonna have to take the low. Oh, you about to need all that body heat to help you keep warm. Officer. What? Ain't ain't no amount of body heat gonna, <laughs> gonna keep you from keeping warm in, in, in a twenty degree. Hey, and it get cold. Windy. It get cold in Mississippi too. Pearson. Nah. Yeah. You have all the body heat you want. As you see, those things ain't blocking too much wind. Nah, it's not going right through. Yeah, going right through. Right, no, no uh, insulation at all. Go ahead. Huts were often poorly constructed, so the rain and snow blew through the cracks see, and the moisture. Up. See, the rain and snow blew through the cracks. Mm. Remember, it says they should don't give a damn about old nor young. Go ahead. Right. Turned the dirt floor into mud. In dwellings like these, the slaves slept by night and ate by day, where babies were born and the sick were neglected. Slaves rose early and went to bed late, often sitting up late at night to mend clothes or prepare the next day's meal. If they overslept in the mornings, they were whipped. Damn! Stop! Damn! Nick, you late for work. A lot of us have been whipped every day. For real. You oversleep? You was whipped. Didn't give a damn. Go to uh, verse 30. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 30. Remember, remember what we're talking about. Don't forget, the dead will rise. We're dead right now. These curses, we're dead. We're in the process of dead, dying. Go ahead. Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 30. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt betroth a wife. And another man shall lie with her. And another man shall lie with her. Go to 940 and play. And the women house slaves were often raped by their masters. After the United States banned the import of slaves in 1808, the supply of slaves in the country became limited. At the same time, the cotton gin made it possible to grow short staple cotton on more land in the Deep South, especially in the Black Belt region. This led to a high demand for labor, which was met by expanding the internal slave market and bringing more slaves from the Upper South, where farming had become less labor intensive. Some slave owners also increased the number of slaves by incentivizing their female slaves to have more children who could then be sold as slaves. It was not uncommon for an enslaved woman to be given her freedom should she bear 15 children. Stop. Since Susan had to give birth to 15 children to maybe get freedom. Right. Maybe, maybe. get freedom. Maybe. 15 kids. 15. And ain't she taking the man one. If she don't, right. As soon as she pop them out, they taking them. They taking them and selling them into slavery. So, yeah, 1800s, America said we can't bring no more slaves here from Africa. But what we can do, we can set up sex farms, breeding plantations, where each black woman on the plantation needs to have a minimum of 15 kids. Can you imagine what that does? That's 15 kids per black woman on the plantation. Right. And they encourage it. And they encourage it by saying, "We're gonna give you your freedom." We'll give you so freedom. they actually try to have. So she's trying to get it in. They try to do. She's it. praying for twins. So what they doing is, they set up a, a what they call them a, a, a uh, buck. What they call them buck, buck breeders or mandingos. mandingos. Yeah. They set up mandingos, where the only thing this dude was responsible for was to impregnate. The black sisters, the slave women, his whole job, his whole life, his whole life was to only produce babies with multiple women. Don't that sound familiar? Right. That sound like Negroes today. Right. right. A lot of jobs, brothers don't understand, they only job is producing multiple babies with multiple women. That's mm. it. Nick Cannon. That's why, hey, right, Nick right. Cannon. Right. That's why, that's why when you tell somebody, yeah, you know, I got... I got multiple kids. They uh, how many baby mamas you got? They don't expect you to say one, one wife. wife. Right. Not even baby mama. One wife. Right. They don't expect that. They say, "Oh, good, good for you." Right. I'm proud of you. 
the hell are you talking about? That's because we were bred to do that. We were bred to have multiple uh, babies with multiple baby mamas. We was bred to do that. Go ahead. The reality was a child as young as 12 to 13 could be forced into pregnancy. Stop. To have a child. As early as 12 well. years old. As early as 12 years old, this little girl could be forced into a pregnancy. That was a uh, color purple, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 As soon as she get her menstrual, right. get her pregnant. Because she need to start early on them 15 kids. Yep. Get it in. Man, that's crazy. Go ahead. Child that would be taken from her and forced into slavery. So that child. He's breeding. Will be taken from her and forced into slavery. You know the uh, the, the the mental I mean, the the mental effect that it has on our people. You you having babies that's basically attached to you, and then as mm-hmm. soon as you have them, they take them, and take you them never, away, snatch them, never see them again. Just like you said, just like you said, it's just like uh, color purple uh, right. with Miss Seeley. Oh yeah, for sure. All her kids was taken taken away from her. Yeah, she found laid up, but they, mm-hmm. everybody even look at Miss Seeley, and they was always on the uh, other side of the world, yeah. and, and she able to see her. But we ain't, shoot, we ain't able they would see our, our kids no more. You could walk past them today and wouldn't even know Don't who they know. Them. Mm. That's some evil stuff, man. Right. But these these are the curses that we went through for breaking God's commandments. Right. This is how we became dead. Think about this. This is dead people. We're being forced to breed, forced to work to our bones separate from our muscle. Forced. Right. Beat every day. Can't think for yourself. Can't think can't for yourself. Read. Can't read. Yeah. Can't even speak. What they say, you can't even talk loud. Right. Can't laugh. Can't laugh. Right. Can't speak your own language. Can't do nothing. Dead. That's dead. You are dead. a dead people. And they treated us as such. They treated us like cattle. That's when they called us cargo. We was labeled cargo on them ships. They said, hell, yeah, well, you know, we gonna treat them like rabbit animals. And we gonna kill them. That's what they did to us. That's what they did to us. Play on. Leon. Farms were focused on producing as many slaves as possible. Hold on, stop. Go ahead, man. Distribution throughout the South. Louisville, Kentucky, and New Orleans were major markets for buying and selling slaves. New Orleans, in particular, became a major port for shipping slaves down the Mississippi River Uh-oh. and a major center for the slave trade and related businesses. Leave a note below telling us what weird and dark topic of history you would like us to cover next. Go to the next video. There should be another video. Right? Disturbing truth about breeding farms. That's crazy how how you were just talking about uh, we couldn't couldn't even uh, be around in large groups. That's that's what they made the the law of loitering today. And then you can't talk your own language. Even though we don't have a different language. We can't talk like we talk, you know what I'm saying? They like, right. like we's talking like a uh, cold word, like we just talk and we we only understand ourselves that they, they want us to talk how they talk. Proper. Proper English. Proper talk English. Proper English. Not none of that e bunnets. Pronounce your R's. Right. Pronounce them correctly. That's crazy. Get your ass up. Right. <laughs> Assimilate. Right. right. Assimilation. Assimilate. There you go. Yeah. Play that thing. And remember, we still going over uh, verse 30. About you shall be troth the wife, and another man will lie with her. Go ahead. Have amazing luck for the rest of the week. Hello, my friends. America barely acknowledges the existence of breeding farms. How much more the injustice perpetrated there. While this disgusting aspect has been deliberately hidden from many history books, the truth must be told. Stay tuned to number one for a clearer picture of how slave women were tortured after childbirth. And with that, let's do this. Enslaved women were breeding machines. In 1808, the U.S. enacted a law prohibiting the importation of slaves into the country. This meant a limited supply of workers across the booming economic cities. It was also at the peak of the invention of the cotton gin, where vast areas of land were cleared and cotton cultivated in the Deep South, especially the Black Belt. The demand for labor skyrocketed leading to the expansion of the internal slave market. At the time, the Upper South had an excess number of slaves, 
due to the shift to mixed crops, agriculture, a less labor-intensive venture. To add to the supply of slaves, slaveholders looked inwards to increase capacity. One way to ensure that was to exploit fertile slave women. These helpless women were forced to have numerous children, a term they called breeding. Women of childbearing age were called breeding slaves, and the period between pregnancy and childbirth was called the breeding period. Slave owners bred their slaves to produce more workers. The function of the breeding farms was to produce as many enslaved people as possible for sale in areas with labor shortages. The two largest breeding farms were located on the Maryland Eastern Shore and in Richmond, Virginia. Planters in the Upper South started selling slaves to the Deep South through traders like Armfield and Franklin. The Ohio River and the Kentucky were major slave markets and ports for shipping slaves by the Mississippi. Offspring produced were separated from their families and sold. Before the Civil War, it was common for slave owners to rip families apart and sell them to other slave owners. Rape wasn't the only injustice done to women in breeding farms. One of the worst things was separating a mother from her child after birth. And you know what's worse? The federal government kept these going with the fugitive slave laws and other rules that defined African Americans as property that enslavers could handle however they wanted. Most U.S. policies assumed that family was less important to people of color and that the people involved were less than human. To justify tearing families apart, the government first dehumanizes the target group, particularly African Americans, Central Americans, and Native Americans. Stop! <laughs> That's run crazy. it back, run it back, like five. Yeah, just press the tail. Yep. I want y'all pay attention to what he says now. He throws it in a real quick, and then he goes on. He moves on real quick. Play that thing. Watch this. To justify tearing families apart, the government first dehumanizes the target group, particularly African Americans, Central Americans, and Native Americans. Stop. He said the government dehumanized a, a specific group, African Americans, Central Americans, and Native Americans. Right. That's the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Hispanics and Native, Native Americans. Americans. Damn! Man. You know, I was going to stop the video at the beginning because they showed the Native Americans, I mean the uh, Hispanics, in the field when the first started. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, hey, man, but, hey, but I let you know. Remember now, it said that this, these curses didn't happen to no other people but the Israelites. Right. To let you know if it happened to you, you are an Israelite, and you are in a dead state. That's right. But now it's time to rise up, man. Right. It's time to rise up. Give me verse 46. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 46. Mm -hmm. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. What is the day? The curses, the plagues. Go ahead. And for a wonder. A sign to let you know who's who and for a wonder. To make you say, damn, why, why are we going through so much stuff? Why slavery happened to blacks and Spanish Native Indians? Why our names had to be changed? Why our language was taken away? Why our culture, our heritage was destroyed? Why us? Are we that bad? Right. What's going on in the world? Go ahead. And upon thy seed forever. And upon thy seed forever. That means... Even during the 1800s, 1700s, even in 2023, we still facing the same atrocities, the same restrictions that our forefathers and foremothers faced. Go ahead. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God mm -hmm. with joyfulness. With joyfulness. And with gladness of heart. And with gladness of heart. For the abundance. For the abundance. Of all things. God said because y'all didn't. Exhibit happiness, right. joyfulness for the abundance of everything that I've given you. Go ahead. Therefore, therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemy. You're going to serve your enemies. The white man is your enemy. Go ahead. Which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord sent this man against us. Come on. In hunger. In hunger. You and want something to eat. Slow down. You want something to eat. You got to go to your enemies for it. Go ahead. And in thirst. Yo, uh, liquid. Water, Gatorade. Give us some more. Soda. Strong drink. Strong drink. Juice. Juice. 
medicine. Right. You got to go to your enemies. Go ahead. And in nakedness. Your, your clothing on your back. Your shelter. You got to go to your enemies. Come on. And in what? Of all things. Even your nationality. You got to go to your enemies. Right. That's the want of all things. Even what you are allowed to call yourself was given to you by the authority of your enemy. Go ahead. And he. And who? And he. And this white man. Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Shall put a yoke of iron upon your neck. Come on. Until he have destroyed thee. Now we are dead. Destroyed means dead. We are mentally dead, spiritually dead, physically dead. We are walking zombies. Dang. That's what the that, that, that's what uh what was the series? The Walking, the walking Dead, dead yeah. was talking about you. Right. Was talking about Israel. You are the Walking Dead. Hey, go, you got know some, go deep, man. You know how I, I, I especially the women, they're like, I'm working hard so my kids don't have to go through the same thing I went through. <laughs> but like you is not finna escape these curses. You working hard just to give them a little bit more money when they start out to face these curses, cause they ain't gonna stop them from getting shot by the police. It ain't right. gonna stop them from having to go to the to the uh the enemy for the mm -hmm. want of all things. Yep. All you do is put a little bit more money in their pocket. That's it. And you're not raising them because you're working hard. Mm -hmm. So you you're neglecting the the uh the the raising them to try to put more money in their pocket to still go through the same curses. Yep. Right. You're not running away from these curses. Right. Yep. All you creating is that mentality of the House Negro versus the field Negro. Mm. Right. So if you rich in your mind, I'm a house Negro. So there's right. nothing gonna happen to me. Long, you know, master gonna give me this and that. Right. It's all you creating. Yeah. Hey, hey, boy, hey, hey. It's gonna get. Hey, y'all in the spirit, man. We gonna get into some heavy stuff today. If not today, then next week. We get some heavy stuff. Hey, go to verse sixty-three. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, and verse sixty-three. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass that as the Lord rejoiced over you to do you good. Watch this. And to multiply you. Go ahead. So the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you. To kill you. And to bring you to naught. And to bring you to nothing. <laughs> God said, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to rejoice. I'm going to celebrate after I bring y'all to nothing. After I destroy y'all. I'm going to rejoice. Go ahead. And ye shall be plucked from off the land uh -huh. where thou goest to possess it. And ye shall be property. Ye shall be plucked. Watch this, verse 64. Verse 64. Mm -hmm. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. The Lord is going to scatter us among all people. That's why we in every country on, in the world. Go ahead. From the one end of the earth. Even unto the other. Read. And there. And there. Thou shalt serve other gods. That means you ain't, you don't even know who your God is. You ain't never served your one true God. You ain't never served your God. And without your God, you are dead. You are destroyed. It says, serve other gods. Go ahead. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Read. Even wood. Even what? Even wood. Come on. And stone. Give me the wood. Bring it out. Give me the wood. This is us serving another God, the wood. Turn that thing up. I hope everybody here don't, don't catch no spirits. Uh-oh. Don't catch no spirits out there. Play that thing. You got to pray for it. This the wood right here. Right. This is the serving of another God. Go ahead. Don't start shouting out there, y'all. All right. Crazy. I see you out there about to start shouting. Look at me and mom back there. Stay in the spirit. Hey, but hey, pause it. Right. I want y'all to understand. This is hey, get that real quick. Uh, Proverbs twenty one sixteen. Man. Get that Proverbs twenty one sixteen. Remember, the dead will rise to die again. Right. This is dead. We are yeah. dead. For 
real. Get that Proverbs 21 and uh, 16, right? Yes, sir. Read that. The book of Proverbs, chapter 21 and verse 16. Go ahead. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding Go ahead. Shall, remain shall remain in the congregation in the assembly of the dead. We dead. This is dead. This is dead. Go back. Play it. What is the purpose of this? Hey, you know what's crazy? Pause it. They just like the dance. Hey, you know what's crazy, bro? I never understood this even when I was in church. Right. right. I never you. understood it because I never ever, you, I never thought to pick my feet up and down and do this. Never. Right. They call that the Holy Spirit. Kid. Yeah, right. the Holy Ghost. <laughs> the Holy Ghost. The hell is this? Hey, before I was on the drones, I just laughed at them. And then I got on the drones and laughed at them. It's stupid. <laughs> but we was going to serve other gods. Wood. This is wood right here. This is Christianity. Right. This is of the devil. This is the congregation of the dead. This is a curse, and we don't even realize it. This is a curse from God, and we think it, it's of God. This is a curse. He just said we was going to do what? Serve other gods. But in verse 63, he said he's going to rejoice over doing what? Destroying us. This is a curse. This is the destroying of God's people. That's right. And we thinking that we actually serving God. We think we serving God right here. Right. This is the congregation of the dead. Get the get the stone. Get the stone. If you weren't doing this, you weren't in the spirit. You weren't in the spirit. Yeah. Something wrong with Something you. Something wrong with you. I could never say. I feel the spirit. I, I could never talk in tongues. Jeez, 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 jeez. Shut up on a Honda. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I literally just said I should have bought a Honda. Should have bought a Honda. Yeah. Should have bought a Honda. She said, "See my tie, see 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 Another rich catchment area for slaves. Habashas, the name given to the Ethiopians by the Arabs. So that's these are p proverbs and bywords, right? Fill the slave marts of Mecca. Fill the slave marts of what? Of Mecca. A lot of y'all didn't realize Mecca was a slave port. <laughs> to, my, to my black brothers and sisters in Islam, you going on a Hajj. That was the largest slave mart in the world. What is wrong mm, with you? Who raised you? We don't want to talk about that. Uh, 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 Asalaamu Alaikum. Oh, go suck an egg somewhere. Dang. Go okay. suck an egg. Bitch, <laughs> 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 like, go, go suck an egg somewhere. <laughs> but that's the stone. That's right. We going to serve other gods that our forefathers didn't know would. Shucking and jiving. Everybody doing a damn uh, uh, chicken, chicken wing. Right. Y'all know the chicken went. Nah, 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 nah. You just seem to do it. Ain't yeah, they all doing it with, with Yeah, they all doing it. Yeah. Go back to the go back to the wood. Yeah, go back. They had they all, they all doing it. it. Yeah, going with the feet. Chicken wing, chicken <laughs> wing, chicken wing. <laughs> What's this? Oh, they all do it. It's crazy. Yeah. That's how you know it's all the same demonic spirit. Right. Right. See, she doing it. Y'all do the chicken wing. Chicken wing. Chicken wing. She got it going. Y'all, I'm telling look. Chicken wing. Chicken wing. I never understood this. Look at that. What the hell is it? Look at everybody doing the chicken wing. Got the little boy doing chicken wing. I never understood this. Got a grown ass man doing the chicken wing. Chicken wing. Chicken wing. Chicken wing. That's a dance move now. Look at that chicken wing. 
Look at that. Gotta, gotta go with Chicken Wing. <laughs> All right, that's it. Hey, yeah. I never understood this. You know bro. what's crazy? Church service be longer doing this than the actual yeah, sermon. Yeah, yeah, they do two scriptures. Yeah, the sermon be like what thirty minutes at the most, and you have two hours of this crap. Bro, bro, I remember, I remember at church one time because I was a part of this on the drums though. I ain't right. never did no I chicken wing. I, I ain't never wing. did the chicken wing. I made people do the chicken wing. I remember the pastor. <laughs> the, it was time for the pastor to preach. The pastor came up and said, "We huh? Not not just that." He said we had such a good, a good uh praise dance service that I don't need to teach today. Dang. And we went right back to da, 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 da. Yep. not one scripture came out. Right. But that we happened plenty of times. But we passed that paint around about three, four times. Oh yeah. As long as they shout, they go spend money. It's oh man, the spirit. The this house is filled with the spirit. I'm, I ain't gotta say nothing. Yeah, I ain't finna mess that up. I ain't messing that up. <laughs> he did this. Close the Bible. <laughs> Back then, I ain't no no bills. Like, just make sure you pay me. Right, for real. Just pay my money. Hey, but so go back to verse sixty-four. The Book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, and verse sixty-four. Go ahead. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other. Go ahead. And there, and there, thou shalt serve other gods. Thou shalt serve other god. They serve the chicken wing god. They all put their head down Damn. and they do the chicken wing. Damn. All of them got their head down. So all I don't understand that. Yeah. It's the same spirit. They watching their feet. Yeah, they watching their feet, just picking they're them up and down. And they all just do the chicken wing. <laughs> Damn. Then they bounce, they bounce it up and down. Yeah. Bent over doing the chicken wing. What the hell is this? Man. That's how you know it's the same spirit. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> It's the same yeah. demonic ass spirit, man. Oh, man. You, Read on. You ain't tired. Which no. neither thou, Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Our fathers didn't do that. Christ healed people that act like that. He called demons out of people that acted like that. That was jumping up and down, couldn't nobody control them. He he said, "Deep demons, get the hell out of here. Y'all got demons on y'all." Christ can be exercise all their ass. Go ahead. Even wood. And stone. Even wood and stone. And stone. The Mecca Mecca was a major slave port right. for our brothers and sisters in Islam. Major slave port. Bishop been going in on the Arab slave trade. Because it's crazy because our people think that, that uh, the stone is better than the wood. Right. Like my slave master was better than your slave master. Bro, you don't understand the stone and the wood were cursings from God. Right. The stone and the wood are both cursings from God. How do you get a job? Hey, go to verse 68. Here we go. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Egypt means bondage, slavery. Go ahead. Again. Again. With ships. With slave ships. Let's get that video. Let's see. Let's get that video real quick. Slave ships. Look at that thing. 5 to 1866, 12 and a half million Africans were taken from their homeland and forcibly transported across the Atlantic, a journey that approximately 2 million of them would not survive. By the turn of the 18th century, European merchants were hold building on, vessels. Hold on, hold yeah. on, Oh, my bad. They be talking about the Holocaust. They said 2 million didn't even survive coming from over here, over there to there. That's more than the Holocaust right now. Hey, they said the Holocaust was six million Jews. Six million? Yeah. Six million Jews. Oh, they Jews. said what they said. But even if they filled every, uh, 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 what do they call them? Gas chamber. Right. Filled them up to the brink for the for the three, four years that still it them. still wouldn't amount to six million people. Right. Right. It wouldn't even six million people in the country. Right. More people died on the way to America than the Holocaust had. In, 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 in its entirety. Right. More black people died on the way here. Right. Than the so called Jewish people in the whole entirety of the Holocaust. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's what crazy. Just stuff. coming over here. Just coming over here. Didn't even make it here. Didn't even make it they here. Get lynched and mm. burnt and all that crap. Sold. Raped. Right. Yeah. Bent over. 
All right, man. I just, Go ahead. Let it play. That was crazy number. Capable of transporting hundreds of enslaved people per journey. These ships had extra portholes for ventilation, weapons mounted on deck in case of rebellion, and additional compartments added below deck to take on more human cargo. Before boarding the ships at African port cities, enslaved people were stripped of their clothing and remaining possessions and had their heads forcibly shaved. During boarding, which could take weeks or even months, enslaved people lived on the deck of the ship in a temporary wooden house constructed by the crew. The crew also installed netting around the deck of the ship, designed to catch those enslaved who might opt for death over forced servitude. Once moved below deck, enslaved people would find themselves stuffed into compartments with ceilings as low as four and a half feet, where they would spend most of their voyage. They were segregated by gender and age. Adult men were kept separately and shackled in pairs. Women usually left unchained in their designated compartment and children often free to move about the ship. There were no sanitary facilities of any kind. Enslaved Stop, people- Stop, pause it. I want you to understand. There was no sanitary, I mean, there were no toilets. There was no uh, 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 period pads. There was no tampons. There was no toilet paper. There was no buckets. Just imagine the smell down there in them slave quarters. You got crap, vomit, pee, Pew. menstrual stuff. You got all this stuff going on down there. On 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 the top of, you got body odor. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got all these things going on. Look, look, you had to lay down in that stuff. And the brothers had to sit up. These are women laying down. They stacked us, man. Like cargo. Go ahead. Forced to relieve themselves where they sat, creating right. hellish conditions when combined with the heat and lack of ventilation below the deck. heat. Man, y'all know it. Hey, watch this. Watch this. I'm gonna bring. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put it into perspective. Oh, man, you know what a diaper smell like in the heat. Mm. You know what a, a a dookie filled diaper smell like when you don't put it in a bag and you just leave it out in the sun. And that's just one little small dookie diaper. Imagine, imagine a grown man crap. Grown man. Imagine that, and then the seasickness. Right. So you throwing up. You throwing up. Damn, you woozy. Man. You you out of it. You you just throwing up on everybody. Coming out both ways. Coming out right both ways. Right. You got crap in your hair. You got crap all over your body. Then the heat hitting you. No ventilation. And the heat on the ocean is a whole different type of heat. A whole different heat. With that salt water, man. Just imagine, man. This is what this is what our forefathers went through and our foremothers went through. Go ahead. Disease was rampant: dysentery, malaria, yellow fever, smallpox, measles, and influenza ravaged the enslaved and crew members alike. The enslaved people generally spent about eight hours a day above deck, but were still separated by gender, with a barricado, a reinforced wall that could be used to protect crew members in case of a revolt. Enslaved people were also subject to forced exercise, which sometimes included dance and song for the entertainment of the crew. Damn, hold up. Don't that sound like, sound like sports? Forced exercise for the entertainment of the slave masters. Mm. Go ahead. Enslaved captives deemed disobedient were tortured and beaten usually whipped with the especially cruel cat of nine tails mm. a tool designed to inflict maximum pain. Enslaved people who refused to eat their typical meal of rice and beans were forced to do so, sometimes with a speculum oris, a medieval tool used to force open a person's mouth. Women, while usually left unshackled, were raped and sexually abused by members of the crew, sometimes arriving in the new world, carrying the children of their attackers. But it was the women, using their minuscule freedoms, who would often coordinate mutinies against their captors. But these rebellions were rarely successful. The true extent of the horrors of the Middle Passage came to light in a 1783 court trial over the slave ship Zong. 
The Zong left present-day Ghana in August of 1781, with 442 enslaved on board. After a two-month journey riddled with navigation errors, 62 enslaved people and seven crew members had perished without reaching their destination. Disease was spreading throughout the ship, and fresh water was running dangerously low. Captain Luke Collingwood was afraid of the financial cost of more deaths. Enslaved people that died of disease were not covered by the ship's insurance, but the enslaved who drowned were. Collingwood ordered approximately 130 enslaved Bruh, people. Bro, this is what he did. He chained them all together. He chained, I think it was like almost 200 people. He chained them up together. And then he, he attached that chain to a boulder, like an anchor, and threw it overboard. So everybody went, went one by one. Fathers, mothers, children, they all drowned together. So that he can get that money. Get that insurance money. Get money. Yep. Go ahead. Overboard. He claimed it was necessary to do so to halt the spread of disease. At the trial between the Zong's owners and their insurance company, the owners argued that because it was legal to kill sick animals for the health of a ship, it was legal to treat enslaved people the same. Right. Mm. The court agreed with the ship's owners, but the trial itself exposed the horrors aboard the Zong. And its story was republished by British abolitionists with the name of the ship redacted. Hey, go go to uh go to Luke 21. So remember, this is a th we going over the dead. We going over things that caused us to be dead. All the curses, the plagues that the Lord put on us for our disobedience. Luke 21 and 20. The book of Luke, chapter 21 and verse 20. Go ahead. And when ye shall see Jerusalem. So this is Christ prophesying. Go ahead. Come pass with army. Uh -huh. Then know that the desolation thereof is not. So this is 70 AD. Christ said, and when you see Jerusalem come pass with armies. This is during a time of 70 AD. You're going to see this. Go ahead. Then let them which are in Judea. Let them which are, which are in Judea. Flee to the mountains. He's talking about Egypt. Go ahead. And let them which are in the midst of it depart out. The reed. And let not them that are in the countries enter thereinto. Read. For these. For these. Be the days of vengeance. These be the days of vengeance. Go ahead. That all things which are written may be fulfilled. That all things which are written where? In Deuteronomy 28. Might be fulfilled. You got to understand. Every captivity prior to the white man, prior to America, we knew a little bit of something about ourselves. Right. We knew it was Israel. We knew our tribes. We knew that, you know, our language. Right. We knew our culture. We were still doing all these things. America, the white man said, nah, nigga. Mm. You are completely going to die. I'm going to completely destroy you. Get Jeremiah 17. Right. I'm going to make sure that you never remember who you are. I'm going to make sure that you never remember your name, your, 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 your nationality, your God, your land. I'm going to make sure you're saying, God bless America. I'm going to make sure you have family reunions with my name. Damn. I'm going to make sure that you pass my name down to your children. I'm going to make sure of this. I'm going to make sure your wife prays to me. Damn. I'm going to make sure that you serve no other but me. Right. I'm going to make sure every aspect of life, if you want to benefit, you must serve me. Right. This is what the white man did. That's the biggest gangster, man. You got gangster, man. Me. Gangster, you got to come see me. I'm your God. Right. I'm your God. Go ahead. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. Come on. And thou, even thyself, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. And that's what happened. We discontinue from our heritage. Come on. That I gave thee. Mm -hmm. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. To serve who? Thine enemies. 
enemies. To serve thine enemies. Come on. In the land which thou knowest not. In America, in South America, in uh, uh, Canada, in Brazil, in Russia. And uh, uh, give me some more. Japan, China, Australia. Australia. I, I'm going to have you serve your enemies wherever you go. And you will never, ever be told that you're an Israelite. You will never, ever be told that God is only for you. You will never, ever be told that you are the greatest creation on this planet. Right. I'm going to make sure that you remain dead. Right. I'm going to make sure that. This white man spilt billions of dollars to make sure that the Israelites remained dead. Get Proverbs 7. You know what's crazy, Cap? Yep. Yeah, like the movie Roots, right? They'll, they'll give us that history, but they'll say, hey, you wasn't Israel. You was Muslim. You was Muslim. <laughs> you was Muslim. You was serving wood instead of stone. Mm, yep. I mean, stone instead of wood. It's the same thing. Yeah. It's the same as that thing. Now, people think that because we chose, because they chose Islam, that they are not doing the same thing that our brothers are doing in Christianity. Right. It's the same thing. Right. The same as that thing. Proverbs 7 and 2. The book of Proverbs, chapter 7 and verse 2. Go ahead. Keep my commandments and live, and my law as the apple of thine eye. Get Revelation 11 and 8. Remember, because it said we're going to serve our enemies in a nation, in a nation that we don't know. Revelation 11 and 8. The book day. of Revelations, chapter 11 and verse 8. Watch this. And their dead bodies. Their what? Their dead bodies. Their dead bodies. Shall lie in the street. Come on. Of the great city. What's the great city? Jump over to chapter 14. Jump over to chapter 14, verse 8. What's the great city that our dead bodies will be lying in? Come on. Revelations 14 and 8. Read. And there followed another angel. Come on. Saying, Babylon is falling. Read. Is falling. Falling. Come on. That great city. That what? That great city. Come on. Because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Go back to Revelations 11 and 8. The book of Revelations, chapter 11 and verse 8. Mm -hmm. And their dead bodies. Our dead bodies. Shall lie in the street of the great city. That great city is Babylon the Great. Is America the white man's domain? Is that great city. Come on. Which spiritually. It's called Sodom and Egypt. Come on. Where also our Lord was crucified. Our Lord was crucified. So it says that dead bodies shall lie in the street. Now go back to Proverbs 7. Their dead bodies. What makes us dead? Proverbs 7 and 2. The book of Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 2. Go ahead. Keep my commandments and live. When we're not keeping the commandments of God, we don't know our, our heritage. We are dead. Go ahead. And my law as the apple of thine eye. Go to Mark 12 and 26. Now watch this. Watch this. Watch. See, see, now we're about to get into the needy greedy. Now we're about to get into the needy greedy. Get, uh, what I say? Mark 12 and 26. Mark 12 and 26. Watch this. The book of St. Mark, chapter 12 and verse 26. Go ahead. And as touching the dead, mm -hmm. they that rise, Come on. have you not read in the book of Moses? How in the bush God spake unto him. Come on. Saying, I am the God of Abraham. Come on. And the God of Isaac. Read. And the God of Jacob. Come on. He is not the God of the dead. Read that again. And as touching the dead, that they rise. Have you not read in the book of Moses? Come on. How in the bush God spake unto him. Read. Saying, I am the God of Abraham. Come on. And the God of Isaac. Read. And the God of Jacob. Come on. He is not the God of the dead. The Bible say God ain't the God of the dead. Hey. That's Dang. why he ain't listening. Damn. We crying out in slavery. Lord, I'm not the God of the dead. I ain't your God. You got to awake out of sleep. Damn. You got to rise up for me to hear you. Damn. I ain't the God of the dead. Keep going. But, but the God of the living. But the God of the living. Give me Ezekiel 37. Mm. He's saying the God of the dead, but the God of the living. Ezekiel 37, read verse 1. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 37 and verse 1. Come on. The hand of the Lord was upon me mm -hmm. and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley of 
which was full of bones. The valley was full of bones. It's talking about USA. It's talking about America. Central North America. Go ahead. And caused me to pass by them round about. Mm -hmm. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. And lo, they were very dry. They were very dry. Get uh, Isaiah 9. Get Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 16. It says, and lo, they were very dry, these bones. Isaiah 9, 16. The book of Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 16. Mm -hmm. For the leaders of this people caused them to err. Go ahead. And they that are led of them are destroyed. Because of our leaders, the men that are over us, we continue to be dry. We continue to be dry bones. Go back. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 37 and verse 1. Go ahead. The hand of the Lord was upon me Mm -hmm. and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord. Come on. And set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, Uh and caused me to pass by them round about. Mm -hmm. And behold... They were very many. In they the were open, very many in the open valley. Come on, and lo, they were very dry. Read. And he said unto me, "Son of man, can these bones live? Can they what? Can these bones live? Can these dead bones live? Read." And I answered, "O Lord God, thou knowest." <laughs> he said, "You say I don't know about that one. You see how they acting? Right. You see what they believe in? They believe in in, in wood and stone, God." I don't know if these bones can live or not. Come on. Again, he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones. Read. And say unto them. Come on. Oh, ye dry bones. Oh, ye what? Oh, ye dry bones. Read. Hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God unto these bones. Come on. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you. I will cause breath to enter. Read. And ye shall live. And ye shall what? And ye shall shall live. John 6, 63. That's right. And ye shall live. The dead will rise to die again. And ye shall live. 6, 63. Go ahead. The book of St. John, chapter 6, in verse 63. Come on. It is the spirit that quickens. It is the spirit that brings to life. Come on. The flesh provided nothing. Read. The words that I speak unto you. Go ahead. They are spirit. Read. They are life. They are what? And they are life. Go back. Go back. Read verse 5. 37 and 5. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 37 and verse 5. Thus said the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you. I will cause breath to enter into you. Come on. And ye shall live. And ye shall live. You should not be dead anymore. Read. And I will lay sinews upon you. Uh Uh-huh. And will bring up flesh upon you. Bone upon bone, flesh. You know how they say the the, the femur is connected to the hip bone, the hip bone, so uh, so on and so forth. Go ahead. And cover you with skin. Come on. And put breath in you. Mm -hmm. And ye shall live. And you shall know that I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Read. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. Mm. And behold, a shaking. And the bones came together. So the prophesy, you got to understand, us prophesying makes our people come alive. That's right. You start to connect the bones, the, uh, uh, the cartilage. The breath starts to go into our people so they are not dead anymore. But it takes us to prophesy. It takes us to teach. Go ahead. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. Mm -hmm. And behold, a shaking. And the bones came together, bone to his bone. Bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews. And the flesh came up upon them, Mm -hmm. and the skin covered them above. Go ahead. But there was no breath in them. So the bones start to come together. The skin starts to appear, but there was no breath. What's that talking about? It's talking about your Malcolm X's, your Martin Luther King's, your your, uh, 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 Marcus Garvey's. They started to come together and say, wait a minute. These, These white dudes is the devil. Right. But they didn't have no breath. What's the breath? What's my Solomon? Check it out. What's my Solomon? Uh, what's it? Seven? Seven to twenty-four, I think it is. Wisdom of Solomon seven to twenty-four. Yep, that's it. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter seven and verse twenty-four. This is the breath 
that our people did not have in them. Verse 25. Go ahead. No, verse 24. Verse 24. Go ahead. For wisdom is more moving than an emotion. Wisdom is more moving. Go ahead. She passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness. Wisdom is pure. Go ahead. For she is the breath. She, wisdom is the what? Is the breath. Is the breath. Of the power. Of the power. Of God. Of God. Go ahead. And they pure in Fluence mm -hmm. flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, can no defiled thing fall into Go her. Go back to Ezekiel. So our people didn't have this breath. They didn't have this wisdom that was pure. They didn't have this wisdom where it was a pure influence from God. They didn't have that. Uh, read verse 9. The book of Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 9. Go ahead. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind. Mm -hmm. Prophesy, son of man. Go ahead. And say to the wind. Thus said the Lord God. Come on. Come from the four winds. Come from the four winds. Oh breath. Oh breath. And breathe. Come on. Upon these slain. A breathe upon these slain. We just read that a word. Revelations 11. Right. Their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of that great city. Oh. Breathe upon these slain bones. Go ahead. That they may live. That they may live. Go ahead. So I prophesied as he commanded me. Mm -hmm. And the breath came into them. And the breath came into them. Go ahead. And they live. And they what? And they live. And the breath came into them. And they lived. Go to Revelation 11, 11. This is when that breath came into us. This is when that breath came. Go ahead. The book of Revelation chapter 11 and verse 11. And after three days and a half. The spirit of life from God. This is what you're seeing going on right now. After three days and a half, 350 years, come on. The spirit of life from God. The spirit of the life of God, that wisdom, come on. Entered into them. The them is Judah and Israel. Right. Northern and southern kingdom, come on. And they stood upon their feet. They stood upon their feet. Remember, in Ezekiel, they were bones. In order for bones to eventually stand up, what must they have done? Became living. They had to be living again. They had to stand upon their feet. And the only way you can stand is if you living. Right. The dead is crouched down. The dead get stumped on. Right. The dead get walked all over. The living stand up on their feet. That's right. Like he told Lazarus. Oh, right. see, I don't want to get too far. <laughs> all right, all right, bring it out. Like he told Lazarus, come forth. Come on. And they stood upon their feet in great fear. Great fell, what? Great fear. Great fear. Come on. Fell upon them which saw them. Go back. Great fear fell upon them that saw us. These nations are fearful. These nations are fearful. They see us teaching. They see us repenting. They see the Lord adding to the number daily. They see that. And they scared. They trying to make it about Israel and, and Gaza. But it's really about us. They try to make it about America and Israel. But it's really about you. That's right. It's really about you. This whole fight is about you. All of it. But in knowing though, in knowing that, there are stipulations that must happen. Go back to Ezekiel, and we're probably going to end it off Ezekiel. Then we'll, we'll go over it next week. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 37 and verse 10. Come on. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them. Go ahead. And they lived. And they lived. And stood up. Upon their feet. We just read that in Revelation 11. And stood upon their feet. Read on. And exceeding. A powerful. Great army. That's how these That's nations right. see us. We are an exceeding great army. Go ahead. Then he said unto me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. These bones are the whole house of Israel. Come on. Behold, they say. Our bones are dry. Our bones are dry. And our hope is lost. Our hope is lost. We are cut off for our we part. We are cut off for our part. Get Ephesians 2 and 12 real quick. The cut off. 
We are cut off for our parts. Ephesians 2 and 12. The book of Ephesians, chapter 2 and verse 12. Go ahead. That at that time ye were without Christ. Were you without Christ? Being aliens. Being aliens. From the commonwealth of Israel. Go back. Go back. Mm. The book of Ezekiel. Chapter 37 and verse 11. Uh, read verse 12. Verse 12. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus said the Lord God, Go ahead. Behold, O my people. O my people, come on. I will open your graves. I will do what? I will open your graves. I will open your graves. That's, and, that's Revelation 11 to 12. Precept that. Go ahead. And cause you. And to, cause you. To come up out of your graves. To come what? Up. Out of your grave Read. and bring you into the land of Israel. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa there, pal. Did the Bible just say God will bring us back to the land of Israel? That's right. So the EU ain't got nothing to do with that? Dang. The Bible don't say the EU would bring Israel back to Israel. It says the Lord will bring Israel back to their land. That's how you know who the real people are. Right. The pastors had to get nations to tear our land apart for them. But the Bible say the Lord is going to bring us back to our land. Read on. Verse 13. And you shall know that I am the Lord. And we're going to know that the Lord is our God. Come on. When I have opened your grave. Read. Oh, my people. Oh, my people. And brought you up. Out of your grave. The dead will rise. That's right. Come on. And shall put my spirit in you. Come on. And ye shall live. And ye shall what? You shall live. Ye shall live. Read. And I shall place you in your own land. The Lord going to place us in our land. Come on. Then shall ye know that I, the Lord, have spoken it. Read. And performed it, saith the Lord. And the Lord said he have performed it. The Lord have spoken it, and he will perform it. Man. Not the EU. Right. Not Britain. Right. Not Europe. Right. Not America. Right. Not France. Right. Not any, no other nation right. will do it. The Lord say, I will perform it. That's right. What time we at, Hasidah? One Sheesh. All right. So, now that we are alive, now what? Now it's time to die. Now it's time to die again. <laughs> hey, so Lord's Wood next week, we'll go over. Now it's time to die again. The dead will rise to die again. All praise to the most out to my left. Officer done. To my right. Officer done. Hospital. Stay tuned next week for IYC in the classroom. Shalom. No. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 